What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into royalty exposes the truth about CJ and Lexi. Let's get it. This whole situation with CJ taking Cordea to the emergency room after she hurt her arm at Royalty's house. Now, when Lexi was on Instagram Live, she did state that Royalty didn't take her to get the proper care after she injured her arm at Royalty's house. So you mean to tell me she did it with her mom and she didn't take her? Yes. You have to have money to take someone to get a cash. So why wouldn't you take your, I don't know. If it was or insurance to me if i had a kid in their arm they fell off something or they got hurt or something happened and the next day they kept on saying it hurt but when someone's arm is like this and they can't move it of course i'm taking my kid to the doctor so no after royalty heard what was said on that live she went on to instagram and started throwing shade at lexi she states bruce keep it cute or keep it mute so she's calling lexi bruce Bruce Jenner. Then she states, PSA, don't take advice from a woman with no kids or a woman who lost her kids. So then Lexi goes on to post the pot calling the kettle black. If your toddler tells you their arm hurts for two days and they can't move it, are you going to tell them shut up, you're being dramatic, or take them to the doctor? Asking for a friend, end result, fractured bone. Then she states, I had a fractured hand before and it was horrible pain. Not taking your kid to get medical attention when they seriously need it is abuse. And how come it's always the hideous person inside and out coming for my looks? I never comment on how busted their face is or their life. Don't 30 <laughs> plus year olds get creeped out about 20 year olds for years now? Please don't take advice from people that can't even hold down their own fort. Back to one week on, one week off. People can't be trusted, should have shut your mouth. Now I'm thinking the one week on, one week off is the agreement that she has with CJ. Maybe since royalty moved a little further out, she may have asked to change from maybe weekly to monthly or maybe every two weeks. So then royalty goes and posts some messages that CJ actually sent her. I'm actually concerned about you and your obsession with the twins, mom. She keeps on talking on my name. What the F you talking about? She just texts you about me. Has nothing to do with me, LOL. She always talking about my food in the comments on the fan pages lives. What the F you So mean? these are messages He's so between messy. He's such a messy lady. Lexi and CJ, but he took a screenshot and sent it to Royalty. Then Royalty posted it on Instagram. So now CJ texts Lexi, I'm actually concerned about you and your obsession with the twins' mom. Then Lexi responds with, she keeps on talking on my name. What the F you talking about? She just texts you about me. Has nothing to do with me. She always talking about my food in the comments on the fan pages live. What the F you mean? So CJ being messy sent the screen shot to royalty like I stated, but not only did he send royalty text messages between him and Lexi, he sent Lexi text messages between him and royalty. That nigga is such a shady lady. Repurposing old content. How am I using you? I'm not throwing dirt on your name or trying to make lies up to tarnish your clout. Use your brain. I'm helping you out every time I post anything old. I don't need you to do shit for me. You ain't throw dirt now. Post content of your new life with your carpet walker. Let's drop the petty arguing. I'm here with our kids and she's being seen. What is the deal with you in this carpet walker talk? Um, that's kind of weird coming from you. You ran the carpet scene, robbing any and everybody you have no room to talk. Or should I say OnlyFans companion? And you post video like what? So then Lexi goes and posts those messages. So CJ is in the blue, royalty's the black. So CJ states, repurposing old content. How am I using you? I'm not throwing dirt on your name or trying to make lies up to tarnish your clout. Use your brain. I'm helping you out every time I post anything old. Royalty states, I don't need you to do ish for me. You ain't throw dirt now. Then she states, post content of your new life. 
with your carpet walker. CJ responds with, let's drop the petty arguing. I'm here with our kids and she's being seen. Then he states, what is the deal with you and this carpet walker talk? That's kind of weird coming from you. You ran the carpet scene, Robin, any and everybody. You have no room to talk. Then Royalty responds with, or should I say, OnlyFans companion. So again, Lexi posted this onto Instagram and she stated, but you brought my name up days ago. Then I'm guessing she got kind of upset with CJ for sending Royalty those messages because she states, one thing I don't do is play both sides. Even when it comes to boxing, I'm picking one side. To me, that's fake. So now Royalty did post a video explaining what happened on her side and how she didn't know that Dea's arm was really hurt because she fell, she cried, then she got back up and continued to play. So she didn't think anything was wrong with her arm. Had a little incident and she, you know, she was jumping around doing flips. I know you guys have seen Cordea. I know you guys have seen Cordea in my lives, you know, doing flips, doing, you know, kid stuff. So yes, she did hurt her arm. I did communicate with CJ and let him know what had happened but um, I guess he just thought that the that it was more serious than what I actually saw because like I said she was doing these flips bouncing around doing what she was doing cried for like two seconds and then after that she was up bouncing around running around doing the same thing that she's always doing is just being wild so yeah she did get hurt and it really, it really was minor like I said but Obviously, it wasn't as minor as I thought it would be, but I'm just glad that she's okay. And, you know, I appreciate CJ taking her to um, the urgent care to get her checked out and just coming to find out that it was like a small little fracture, nothing big, it's not broken. They said they seemed like a little small little crack, but, you know, that heals over time. So it really wasn't that big of a deal from what I observed. Like I said, shout out to him for, you know, just taking her to the... Girl. Accent. Why did she start this mess up? Why did she go on to Instagram Live and start speaking on the situation? So Lexi states, I didn't say anything was wrong. Listen, I'm not saying I'm their mother, but I have been in their life for two years. So I built a connection with them. Why wouldn't I be worried or feel horrible about the situation? How am I wrong? I never said anything wrong. I clearly said it should have been done right away. And in my opinion, that's messed up because it's painful. Am I wrong for saying that I never come in on anything else I literally mind my business even when people go on my live talking about my cooking I stay quiet I've never said anything but when it comes to the safety and comfort of a child I'm sorry I'm gonna speak up and any and every kid you hear me and I know a lot of parents would agree period then she also states I never said she wasn't I would never downplay their relationship with each other that's weird you're twisting it I said it's concerning when you wait four days to do or say anything when it's clear her arm was broke period so again you guys leave your comments on this situation down in the comment section below but again this is just another situation that should not have been brought to the internet and CJ is the one that actually brought it to the internet, although he didn't state that he was blaming royalty. He made that post stating that Dea hurt her arm at her mother's home. But let's move on to this next topic with DDG, TT, and Brooklyn because he called up TT and Brooklyn and pressed them about a video that was posted on Aries' page. Tell Aries to delete his last video right now. Mm. Yo, Why? stop. DDG gotta stop. Because you're embarrassing me, TT. How am I embarrassing you? <laughs> I didn't even... Like, what, what's embarrassing about it? Tell Aries to delete his last video. You know, Moo? You know, um... I'm 20 years old, and I got my own house, my own money, my own phone, my own car, and et cetera. So, no. Well, you're also 20 and you're drinking. So, what if I told the police that you was drinking? It was apple juice. You cannot prove that it was liquor. 
having a liquor in my system. Why are you acting like this? I thought you changed. Don't don't you have hail now? You said. I thought I had a pass because now you don't really have to worry about me. You said that if you had to choose between me or Aries, <laughs> that then you would take a drink, and you know that I've known you for twenty fucking years, and you <laughs> just met that dude. No, it was just like it was just because I wasn't I wasn't drinking the apple juice, so he was so I was like, you know what, I'll drink it. So I but drank you it. Are, I watched the damn video, TT. <laughs> I seen you drink in the beginning. You didn't have to drink again. It was just for fun. I, I, it was just so for if fun. You had to, if you had to choose between your blood brother that you look like, the same daddy, same mama, <laughs> that changed your fucking shitty diaper in college three years ago, who would you choose? And don't say no stupid ass answer. I would choose Aries if I was her. How am I supposed to choose you after you just said all that like that? Because I'm your brother. That's why. I'm, I mean, of course I was going to choose you. I just wanted to drink. But I mean, uh, yeah. Helping Phantom to lose weight, oh, but it went wrong. Time, the next time I see you, TT. You're going to get a whooping, okay? What? <laughs> so you better stay away from me. <laughs> and I'm telling right. mom, I'm telling mama, I'm sending her this video and the timestamp. And you're going to get in trouble. And you're tripping, Mo. I am not a baby anymore. I don't, I don't how old, a, do, you think, I how don't old do you think I am? I don't care how old you are. I said what I just said. It's like Dejan telling you he go whoop you. I have a baby. I'm a grown ass man. What the fuck is you talking about? You don't tell no, no, no. How you don't get you? on no video how and say, you? okay, you don't get on no video because that's hurtful, TT. You don't get on a video and say, I can't, I don't know who to choose between you or, or, No, or. it wasn't like that. I literally was just taking the shot. That's it. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like, I just wanted to drink because I just didn't want to answer. That didn't mean that I didn't have an answer. I just didn't want to say it. Who vape is that on, on top of that, that, um, iPad? It's Brooklyn's. I don't vape. I don't Where do is that. Brooklyn at? She's right here. Hold on. <laughs> Brooklyn. She's right here. Hold on. We want to talk to you. Hello. Hello. Put that. Hello. If you, if I catch you smoking a vape, I'm gonna tell your brother. You hear me? <laughs> what? <laughs> just because. What? Just because. You, uh, to say little sister don't mean you can't get no whooping either. Okay. <laughs> That's not my vape. That was Valentine's. If I see you smoking a vape, I'm going to whoop you and TT. Okay. I'm grown. But I'm grown. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Oh. She hung up. <laughs> Hello? Okay, hello? I think to say on the flight. If you don't delete this last video on your page, I'm gonna switch to you. <laughs> Why you say that? I'm not laughing. What's ass? What Swiss cheese? 
I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to delete your last video. What's wrong with it, bro? Just watch your back. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga shell. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.